If you're looking for new home accessories like a lamp or a mirror, you probably know the cost of home decor can certainly start to add up. So why not roll up your sleeves and try upcycling? And the expert is here, upcycling expert Sarah Terzinski joins us now with three easy ideas to decorate our home on that budget. Welcome That's back. Right. Thanks for having me. Okay, so I've got three things, projects that I've actually done in my house that I love. I want to share with you today. First is a bar cart. So we'll move Super over here. Super hot, I mean. Okay, so this, you know, I like a tall bar cart. Derek was just saying that. This was actually a diaper changing table. So we have a before shot of All it. All right. So what you do, I got this for less than 30 bucks on oh Craigslist. My gosh. These Graco bar, I mean, these Graco bar carts. Diaper changing. <laughs> yeah. Diaper changing tables. That's the new name. Yeah, bar exactly. Carts bar carts for babies. <laughs> oh, geez. So um, basically, I just purchased purchased this, made sure it was, you know, sturdy. It sure. wasn't like all broken up. Didn't really matter what the wood looked like because I just lightly cleaned it, lightly sanded it. And then I took my favorite, I love metallic spray paint. Yes. And I just spray painted it and that was it. Now I wanted faux marble shelves. So here's the deal. I found this stuff at Walmart, believe it or not. And it is, you don't have to stick it to the shelves. It just lays there. Oh, and it's, it's literally it's that comp. Liner. Yeah, it is it's a shelf liner same. and it's beveled. So the glass is it stick to it. It looks like marble. So I just cut out three pieces of it. Here's a piece that's already pre-cut. You guys can just lay that on there. And you know what? If it spills something on it, you pick it, it up yeah. and you wipe it. And you don't have to use it for a bar. I just use this for a oh, cookie sorry, party yeah. for my daughter as well. Like you yes. can use it for brunches or whatever. And then you just kind of, I like a mirror on a bar cart because I like the reflection. You know, and then you can just kind of. Um, Look at that. You know, just That's amazing. Immediate transformation. And Decorate as you said, Sarah, so many bar carts, I, I feel they're almost mini size. Yes. Like and a kid size yes. play set. And yes. you can't really put anything on it. And you know yeah. what's really cool about this one? There's wheels on all four sides. Not just on two, you know how some bar carts yes. just, you can just wheel this wherever. Straight from the nursery to the kitchen. Straight, <laughs> which is what you need, straight yes. from the nursery to the kitchen. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do is a sunburst mirror. Now I have one of these in my bedroom that I love, so I'm gonna show you how to duplicate that one. Um, first you wanna start with paint stir sticks. So I wanted one that was thicker, not pointy. So you could use chopsticks or something like that, but you can get these at any um, home improvement store free. Do they look at you a little strangely? Well, you can't you grab like with a tile you gotta of them. Keep, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta go spread back, it out. You, you gotta, gotta go, go all a over. Couple of times, <laughs> or say, hey, could I have five or six of those? And then you get your little stacks. They or also, send your neighbor in. Yeah, you know exactly. They also have longer ones, thicker ones. Um, we, or you know what, Derek? If you really feel bad about it, you can buy these too. So it's up to you. And they're not very expensive. So okay. this is the after. That's the after. Yeah, that's the one that I have in my bedroom. So that's with the big and the small. But today we're just gonna do the small. So I like a gray stain, kind yes. of that patina look. So I just stain these gray and then what you're gonna do um, this mirror you can get one if this was from my house but you could get one of the thrift store or any hobby yeah. store so the main key with this is you want to make sure see my <laughs> I use my fab fit fun box yes to level it out you want to make sure your back is level so you just I just hot glued a piece of cardboard in there oh of course because so a you, lot of clocks have sort of like a hollow back to them yep exactly so then you want to take your sticks and I'm gonna let you guys do this you just stick them stick them down and hot glue them so oh. you want to start with one you want to kind of go whatever pattern you want. It does not have to be exact and just stick them down. On the sunburst, by the way, back in the 50s and 60s, they didn't call it mid-century design back one? then. Just do some. But this was no. a very popular yes. design or silhouette back in the middle of the century. Yeah, it was. And, and it's super in now. Actually, it has been for a while. Like you can, yeah, wherever. It doesn't really matter. They can be all different legs, heights. You can disperse them however you like. And then you want to, once you get them all on there, you want to let it glue, for, or excuse me, set for about 15 minutes. Courtney's using a hot glue gun? This is amazing. You, can no, you know what? I do love a good hot glue gun. I know, gun. and have this is an one easy one. I have, yeah. Oh. I have multiple. That's pretty impressive. Oh, wow. Yeah. She has excuse multiple, multiple hot glue guns. That's the only thing I have, crafty. <laughs> That's good though, you're doing a great job. And then, you know, you can do take the bigger ones and you can put them in And between. let's just hold this up yep, to show people. I mean, we get the idea, but yeah. you go all the way around. Yep, yeah. all the way around. You have and there a you nice have. And that's a good gray, mirror. by the way. Yes, that's the it weathered, just it's just a weathered, weathered gray. gray stain. Yep, okay. that's a good one. Let's move on to okay, the lamp. Okay, so my lamp. Okay, so well, we're gonna do two lamps today. First of all, I have um, a white lamp with the black design on it. I think we have an after picture that we'll show. Yeah, that, there we go. It's oh, in my wow. bedroom, yeah. So that was a thrift store lamp that I bought. And this was a designer lamp that I saw that I loved. It was like $900. So I'm like, okay, I can make for one of those. For a lamp? Yeah, for a lamp. Oh. So I was like, that's not gonna <laughs> work lamp for me. lamp business. I know, seriously. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and work on how I did that one. Okay. And then also, this was a little lamp that I found that was like brown. It was a horrible color. Is it from Mary? 
It's for Ma Mary had a little lamp. Oh, Mary had a little lamp. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was like, wait, am I having a blonde moment? I think I'm sorry, I had a blonde moment. I didn't get it either. <laughs> Don't worry. It was <laughs> terrible. Like, yeah, it was pretty, pretty bad, Derek. We're going to have to work on that. Mary had a little lamp. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. <laughs> okay, well, Derek, this is now painted turquoise. So this is actually a lamp for my daughter I'm going to let you guys work on. So it was like kind of an ugly color. Mary had a little lamp. <laughs> And I spray painted a turquoise, and then you're going to want to take the hot glue gun again and go ahead and put some. I'll let you do this. Sticking so, pom poms on, it. on the all list. over. Yep, just start. Here, I'll do one first okay, to I'm show nervous. you. Don't be nervous. This is just going to go in my daughter's room. What a oh, cool what idea! Say? And then you just stick the pom poms all around. That she is picked so those cool. I bet the girls would love this. Yeah, they would. Or you can do it on a lampshade. But you, I mean, this lamp was five dollars, and when you get all done with it, you can have this fun pom pom lamp. All right. While Courtney's doing that, let's show. Yeah. Uh, okay. So show this the guy. How you did that so one. So this was a navy blue lamp. And I spray painted it white and I went ahead and did a little bit of black paint on the bottom. And so for this design, you basically just want to start with your pen. This is a Sharpie paint pen. Oh no. Not a Sharpie. That, that would make would, me nervous. No, don't be nervous. Important. And then you just come down and you just draw your line. And then you just kind of come all the way over to the side like this. Wait, and you're just going into like a random in a random pattern. And then you just go down again. And it doesn't, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, I just yeah, did a random pattern. And then you want to come back through once you get all your lines, kind of wrapping around the lamp. And then I just kind of came through. I mean, it takes you about 30 minutes, but then I would just kind of do thicker spots and then leave some thinner just to give this like really cool effect. So you're retracing your steps yep. and just sort of thickening up parts of the line. Yeah, that's it. And it turns out to this really cool look and you just keep doing it all the way around. And then um, when you're all done with it, you want to get some spray glaze. Oh, it's a clear glaze. Set. Okay. Yep. And then you spray it and it sets and it stays that way. Sarah, Very thanks nice. so much. To connect with Sarah, just check on the Scene on Houston Life tab of our website. Always great ideas. Yeah, thanks Love for having the pom -pom me. pom-pom lamp too.